Hello, this is Jason. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to install FBX on Maya 2011 and below. Uh, it actually goes a little bit higher to 2012 as well. I'm pretty sure the same concept applies for all of them. Um, so, what you need to do to begin with is open your favorite favorite uh, browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. That is my favorite because it runs very fast. Once you've got that open, type FBX plugin in Google, Google search engine. I'm not sure if the other ones, I don't really trust them that much. The uh, first thing you're going to get, usaautodesk.com. You're going to want to click this. It's going to send you over to this page right here. Or you can just copy this link, whatever you want to do. Um, you're going to go down to. Uh, FBX 2012 one plugin for Maya 2011. You're going to click that, download it, if you're running Maya 2011. If you're not, if you're running 2012, you're going to click up here. If you have 64-bit, then you're going to click this one. I have 32-bit, so I am downloading this one. Um, if you have lower than that, you're going to want to come down all the way to the bottom of the page and plugin and converter archives. You're going to want to open that. And you're gonna have all of your uh, FPS plugins right here, and this is a version of Maya that they're compatible with. It is pretty simple. Click these, download it, install it, and it, you're gonna do the same thing that we we are basically doing. So I've already got this downloaded, just to save time. It didn't take that long. So we're gonna install it, accept it, next, install. Uh, sure. All right. Would you like it? No. All right. So that has been completed. We're just going to close out of that. We no longer need it. And we're going to open Maya. I'm hoping that the audio doesn't get off because before when I tried this, the audio from the video. All right. Now that Maya is open. Close out of that program, go up to the top, window, setting the preferences, plugin manager. Once we have this open, we're going to scroll down, or maybe not. We're going to look for fbxmaya.mll. Right now, we're going to go over here and make sure both of these are checked because it's going to auto load them. So, once you've got those checked, you just exit out of that and we're going to create something, like a cube or something. Alright, so we have a cube. We have selected the cube. We're going to go up here, and I'm going to export selection. It, my, or FBX is an export, so it's not. you can't just go to save. Alright, so you're going to click down here. Your probably isn't going to be selected, but mine was. And you're going to look for FBX underscore export. Click that. Alright. Save it to wherever you want to save it to. Uh, cube. Export selection. That's going to send that right to my desktop. I'm going to close out of this. Uh, don't save. Alright. So you're going to need a file that looks like this. Cube.fbx. And I'm going to show you importing that to Unity. Because Unity is a good software to create games in. And it handles FBX like most third-party programs do. Probably should have launched this beforehand because it's going to take a little bit. Alright. Right. And... Uh, Alright. Cube. I have already imported a cube into mine, but I'm just going to do it again. Just to show you guys how I did it, but it's actually really easy. You're just going to grab this, drag it into your hierarchy, or project folder, and you're going to get a folder like this. Drag that in here, and you can now see I have a cube. Alright, this is directly imported from Maya, and it has the properties that Maya has assigned to it. It does keep some of its properties. 
it's mesh and uh so scale factor you might want to change that to higher to one and it's got material too but i run into problems with materials so for example uh, a little bit more detailed model this guy right here was part of materials created by maya but don't worry if you get something like this it's easy to fix this is the model that we want and that always pops up I'm just gonna exit out of that anyway that's what we want this all this other stuff right here is part of like lambit um, blend just whatever material you're making in maya that you might have added to give them some shiny effect or something uh, I'm not sure what programs can handle that, but I know Unity can't. So what we're going to do, we want to take the model that we actually want, or Unity might be able to, I don't know how to do it. Alright, this is what we want. This is what we don't want. We select them. I should have shifted that. Let me delete that. Aha. Alright, there you go. And you have all these little separate parts of your guy and uh... yeah alright, that's pretty much everything uh... good luck and I hope you figure it out